Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Dylan. Today we are going to see the differences between jouer à, jouer de, and faire de. Unfortunately, today's lesson doesn't have a PDF. Simply because the conjugation course is starting very soon. The book should be available on Amazon this week, at the end of this week, or the beginning of next week. As soon as it's available, I will make a video about it and let you know that you can order it. Also, it will be available as just a PDF on my website, as usual. I will do a little Q&A at the same time that I do the video to let you know that it's available, so it's easier for you. I could already publish the PDF, actually, but I prefer to have the paperback available because there are so many exercises. Also, it's a very long book. It's between 400 and 500 pages, if I remember well. I'm still doing some editing. And there are around 200 exercises. So it's a lot, a lot of pages just to print. This is why I really want to have it available on Amazon before I start the lesson. But I will do a Q&A about it as soon as it's available. I will let you know. Let's start by seeing the differences. If we look at jouer à and jouer de. So they both mean to play. But jouer à is all about sports and games. When Jouer de is all about musical instruments. And then we have faire de. Faire de is also for sports and activities, not for games. So for sports, especially what you can do by yourself or in very small groups. We'll see all the differences. Let's start by reviewing the conjugation of jouer present tense. If you want to pass something, this video has chapters. So you can just go from one to the other. So, jouer, present tense. We know the pronoun subject. We have je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle. Then the stem is jou, j, o, u, and then we add the endings. So we have je joue, tu joues, il joue, elle joue, on joue, nous jouons, vous jouez. Il joue, elle joue. So remember that joue with e, with e, s, and with e, n, t are pronounced exactly the same. That's only the first step, because then we have to see when the preposition or the article changes after the verb. So for jouer à, we have four different possibilities. We have jouer à, just à, jouer à la, jouer au, and jouer au, a, u, x. So, jouer à is going to be for very specific games. Jouer à la is going to be followed by a feminine noun. Jouer au is going to be followed by a masculine noun. Feminine noun, singular, masculine noun, singular. And then we have jouer au, a, u, x, is going to be followed by a masculine or feminine noun, but plural. So, for jouer à, I have two examples for this one. We have jouer à cache-cache, jouer à cache-cache, to play hide-and-seek. So for us, it's hide-hide, to play hide-hide. And then we have very specific video games. If you want to say that you play Zelda, for example, you will say jouer à Zelda. Now we have jouer à la, so follow by a feminine noun singular. We don't have that many either for that one. We have Jouer à la balle, jouer à la balle, so you just play with the ball, jouer à la balle, and then we have jouer à la marelle, jouer à la marelle, to play hopscotch, I hope I pronounced it right. Next one, jouer au, jouer au, we have many, many possibilities for this one, but all of them have to be followed by a masculine singular noun. So we have jouer au basketball, basketball. We can also get rid of the ball. We can just say basket, basket. Jouer au billard, jouer au billard, jouer au golf, jouer au golf. Even though for this one, we can also use another one. We'll see that at the end. Three other ones. Jouer au football. Football or jouer au foot. You can say that. So this is soccer. This is not American football. Jouer au tennis. 
jouer au tennis. And the last one, jouer au Monopoly. Jouer au Monopoly. So here, maybe you already seen it, but this is the equivalent in English when you don't have the the after play. So to play soccer, to play basketball, to play tennis, to play golf, to play Monopoly, etc. When it's jouer à, jouer au, jouer à la, etc. This is the equivalent of the English way to say to play something without the the. The next one is jouer au, a, u, x. So here it's going to be followed by a masculine noun, a feminine noun, but plural. So we have jouer aux cartes, jouer aux cartes, to play cards. Jouer aux dames, jouer aux dames, to play checkers. And jouer aux échecs, z échecs. Don't forget that. Aux échecs, to play chess. So you see, there's absolutely no the after play. Then we have jouer de. Do you remember that this one is mostly for instruments? So here we're going to have jouer de l apostrophe. This is going to be for feminine masculine noun starting with a voyel or a silent h. Then de la, jouer de la, feminine noun, and jouer du, masculine noun. All right, so jouer de l apostrophe. We have jouer de l'harmonica, jouer de l'harmonica, to play the harmonica. So here, harmonica is a masculine noun. Next one, jouer de l'orgue. Jouer de l'orgue. To play the organ. Masculine noun as well. If someone in the comments said that you play the organ, I'll be really, really impressed. Next one, jouer de la. Jouer de la batterie. De la batterie. So first, batterie is a singular noun. I know that there's a lot, but it's considered as only one instrument. Jouer de la batterie, to play the drums. Then we have jouer de la flûte. Flûte. Jouer de la flûte. Jouer de la guitare. Jouer de la guitare. Jouer de is for everything else, all the masculine nouns. So jouer du piano. Du piano. Jouer du piano. Jouer du violon, violon, jouer du violon, jouer du trombone, jouer du trombone. So this is for jouer. Now we have faire. So faire, I told you it's more about sports and activities. But first let's see the conjugation of faire present tense. We have je fais, tu fais, il fait. Elle fait, on fait, nous faisons, irregular pronunciation, nous faisons, vous faites, vous faites, ils font, elles font. So don't forget that the verb faire is an irregular verb, but you should know it absolutely by heart. All right, so let's see. Faire de elle apostrophe is going to be for Feminine, masculine noun, but starting with a voyel or silent H. Faire de la, feminine noun. Faire du, masculine noun. So, faire de est l'apostrophe. We have. Faire de l'équitation. Faire de l'équitation. Faire de l'escalade. Faire de l'escalade. They are both feminine words. Faire de la. Faire de la. So follow by a feminine noun. We have. Faire de la box. Faire de la box. Faire de la natation. Faire de la natation. Faire de la plongée. Faire de la plongée. And faire du for masculine noun. We have. Faire du yoga, faire du yoga, faire du cheval, faire du cheval, faire de l'équitation. It's the same thing. It's just different way to say it. 
faire du cheval, faire de l'équitation. And then faire du vélo. Faire du vélo. So here, between jouer à and faire de, we have a lot of them that are similar and that can be used for both. Especially anything like basketball, football, golf, tennis as well. It's just it goes in both categories. I think it started to be technically with jouer, but we say it a lot with faire for some reason. I think it's also about if you take something seriously or not. You know that whole conversation if golf is actually a sport or not? I think it's about the same thing. If you're a soccer professional, you're not going to say that you play football, soccer. You're going to say, je fais du foot. Because this is more of an activity than a game. It doesn't really change anything. You can choose really the one you want. Nobody will say that you're wrong. Okay, so, faire du tennis, jouer au tennis, same thing. Faire du basket, du basketball, jouer au basket, au basketball, same thing. Faire du football, jouer au football, same thing. And then also golf, faire du golf, jouer au golf. It's really up to you. So I see three sentences. Est-ce que tu joues au tennis? Est-ce que tu joues au tennis? Oui, je joue au tennis tous les lundis. Oui, je joue au tennis tous les lundis. Il joue de la batterie depuis longtemps. Il joue de la batterie depuis longtemps. He has been playing the drums for a long time. So here, remember that when we have depuis in French, it's present tense. Even though it started a long time ago, for us, it's still present. So we saw that on last week's video, and we are going to see that again on the conjugation course. And the last one, passé composé this time. Nous avons joué aux cartes toute la soirée. Nous avons joué aux cartes toute la soirée. We play card the whole evening. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. You should see me very soon for an update on the book. It could be really anytime. It can even be Sunday, Monday. It, it won't be exactly next Wednesday. As soon as it's available, I will put the video up. If you have a question about the conjugation course, please leave it in the comment section. I will include it when I make that video about the book. So that's it. I will see you very soon. A bientôt.